Rather than be independent and push for new solutions in the quagmire that's Iraq, he's been in lockstep with the Bush administration and his party. Rather than be independent and put Nevada first, he's put big oil first, giving corporate welfare to oil companies making raw record profits, while Nevadans are paying record prices at the pumps. Rather than be independent and put Nevada's children first, he chose tax breaks for the wealthy over checkouts for kids. And rather than be independent, he voted 90% of the time in lockstep, towing the line of the Bush administration and the party. Dean has demonstrated that he's more of the same in Washington, not an independent voice that puts Nevadans first. Dean Heller has let Nevada down. Now, I'm a Democrat, and I know that there are a lot of folks in Northern Nevada who aren't. But I want you to know that unlike Dean, I've always put Nevada first, and I always will. Now I want you to know that over the course of the campaign, Dean will probably spend a lot of time highlighting the fact that I'm a Democrat, and hoping that that's all you'll ever know about me. You know, like a lot of folks in politics these days, he hopes voters will simply follow party lines and not ask questions about anything else, especially his record. So let me ask you a really simple question. And it's a question that transcends political parties or political agendas. And it's this. Are you satisfied? No! no. After giving him two years in Congress to get it right, that's the question we need to ask. Are you satisfied? Are you satisfied with the costly, this costly, ill-advised, seemingly endless war? No. no! Are you satisfied with the broken health care system that leaves so many Nevadans out in the cold? No! no. Are you satisfied with rising costs, fuel costs, grocery costs, heating costs? No! Are you satisfied with the way we treat our nation's veterans, whether they be 19 or 90 years old? No! And are you satisfied with a government that puts the interests of corporate lobbyists no. ahead of all?
I started life on the Flying Flapjack Ranch out of Lava. And it's a place where folks talk straight, look you in the eye, and mean what they say. And I say we need more of that in Washington, D.C. Really that bad.